Good evening. Welcome to Vespers from First United Methodist Church of Ann Arbor. This evening's worship is the last in our series, A Table Prepared for Your Soul. The hope for this series was to encourage examination of your spiritual life and seek out enrichment and development in your faith journey. Once again, let us turn to the songs of our faith, God's word in scripture, and lift our hearts in prayer, a feast prepared to nurture our souls. Join me in the responsive call to worship, to know the warmth of love, to, to have, have the assurance, assurance that, that someone cares, cares. to be confident of our worth, to, to be, be bold, bold, to love and return. return, to be washed over with grace, to, to be, be accepted, accepted as, as we, we are. This is to know a bit of God. This, this is, is to, to worship, worship God. God. Let us sing praise to the Lord, the Almighty, as our opening song this evening. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. All my soul praise him, for he is thy health and salvation. All ye who Join me in glad adoration. Praise to the Lord, O oh, let all that is in me adore him. All that hath life and breath, come now with praises before him. Let the Once again, we read from the book Soul Feast by Marjorie Thompson. This excerpt comes from the fourth chapter entitled Gathered in the Spirit. The reasons for gathering are many and important. Whether we are alone or with others, we need to experience our Christian life as rooted in the larger community of faith. Even our most personal disciplines need to be supported, broadened, clarified, and sometimes corrected in the light of corporate theology and practice. Otherwise, we become susceptible to privatized visions of spiritual truth. Moreover, we need the prayers of others as they need our prayers. The way God provides for our deepest hopes is usually through the hands and hearts of others. While a worshipful attitude may permeate one's entire life, the role of common worship remains crucial. We delude ourselves if we imagine we can live the spiritual life in total isolation from Christian community for it is impossible to be Christian in solitary splendor. To be Christian is to be joined to the body of Christ. The central and visible way in which the church expresses this reality is by gathering in the spirit to receive and respond to God's living word. Let's sing together Amazing Grace. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found, was blind. 
blind, but now I see. When we've been there ten thousand years, bright shining as the sun, we've no last taste to see. than when we'd first begun. Please join me in reading Psalm 100 from the Common English Bible. Shout triumphantly to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with celebration. Come before him with shouts of joy. Know that the Lord is God. He made us. We belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his own pasture. Enter his gates with thanks. Enter his courtyards with praise. Thank him. Bless his name. Because the Lord is good. His loyal love lasts forever. His faithfulness lasts generation after generation. For tonight's meditation time, consider your worship practice. Where does it fit on this continuum, in the words of Marjorie Thompson, from that of solitary splendor to joined in the body of Christ? And how might you like to move that description? join me in this time of prayer. Almighty God, we sing to you a song of worship. We lift up our voices in a hymn of praise. Let the earth and heavens join together in worshiping the Lord our God, for you alone are worthy of our praise. May the trees clap their hands together and mountains lift up their heads. May the flowers of the forest sing for joy, and may the streams and seas rejoice on every side. Together we proclaim the joy of your salvation to all the people on earth, and declare the glory of your majesty to all the nations. Marvelous are the works of your hand, for you are our God, who alone is worthy of worship and praise. We praise and worship you, God, for who you are. We give thanks that you are our Savior and that justice and truth 
are in your hands. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining us these past weeks, seated at the table which has been prepared to nourish our souls. Next week is Ash Wednesday, and FUMC Ann Arbor will be holding its Ash Wednesday service in person, downtown, and live streamed on, on YouTube. That's March 2nd at 7 p.m. Join us back here when Vespers resumes in two weeks on Wednesday, March the 9th. Till then, sing a song of praise, breathe in God's word, and sit down for a conversation with God. We are members of the body of Christ that nurtures and sustains one another in community and fellowship. May God's wisdom be the store from where our daily thoughts are gathered. May God's love be a flowing river bringing peace to heart and soul. May God's whisper be a word in time breaking through the world's clamor. May God's faithfulness be our strength and hope within the storms we face. Amen.